high tail users as mca made compulsory audit trail for companies we'll see how to enable audit trail in tally erp9 with tcp i have a tcp file here i'll just copy the path and i'll come to tally so from gateway of tally press f12 go to product and features and press f4 for manage tdls and paste it here and accept it once accepting come to gateway of tally and go to company info to alter the company go to alter select the company which you want to alter and go to use security control and enable after enabling give the administrator username and password and repeat the password and need to enable use tally audit features and accept it and it will confirm you to give the same username and password and accept it to enter into tally once entering into tally we'll go to accounting vouchers to create some voucher so i'm going here to sales voucher and giving some details so i'll create party i'll create a sales account i'll create some stock item i'll give the quantity rate and amount and i'll give some narration after giving narration once i enter i'll get additional field for remarks so this will copy the same narration if you want to modify you can modify it and enter accept it after accepting i'll come to gateway of tally i'll go to display to see the voucher in day book so going to display day book see here is the transaction details i'll just press f12 and i'll go to show entered altered by and i'll enable it and i'll come out now you can see here it will show audit trail report created by administrator a and on which date and what is the time on which computer what is the ip address what is the amount and remarks what we given in the narration now i'll see modifying the same voucher so i'll go to amount field and i'll do some changes and i'll accept it it asking for remarks so what changes we made we can give the changes details here and accept it now you can see here it is showing additional details okay it is showing altered by and who is altered same 
system details with remarks. Now I'll see how to create a user and how to how a user will modify and how the report will be displayed. So I'm created a user and I'm logging in user credentials. I'm just entering inside. It is showing the same details as administrator, whatever administrator has did. Now I will alter the same voucher. Okay, just modifying the amount. Just I am modifying it and giving the remarks for modification. You can see here now it is showing altered by B and on which date at what time which computer what is the ip address what is the amount and what is the remarks you can see the amount the complete history of the amount what was the earlier amounts and what is the last modification amount now we'll see duplicating a voucher so what happens if we or if an user duplicates a voucher so I am going to the same voucher and pressing alt to duplicate it so now it is showing accounting voucher creation in duplication mode and I'll come just I'll modify the amount and I'll accept it just it copies the narration if you want to return you can return it and accept it now you can see here it shows created in duplicate mode by B okay earlier it was created by and altered by now if a user created a voucher in duplicate mode it will show us duplicate mode by B on which date what time which computer which IP address what is the amount and remarks I hope you, you like this TCP if you want to buy this TCP you can email me I'll give you the email you can email me and buy it thank you